Hi, and good evening, everyone. Here's a little story about myself. Two years ago, I went to a summer camp in Dallas, Texas. And on the first day of my camp, our summer camp teacher led us to our classroom and said, kids, we have a very international camp this year. They're girls from China. And I watched those American girls and boys laughing and talking with each other. And some of them are staring at me with surprise in their beautiful blue eyes as if I'm from another planet. Like other Asian girls, I felt a bit nervous and tried to, you know, behave like those American girls to try to cook in. I paid attention to my accent, played games at their speed, and even pretended to enjoy their food. Sorry to say, but it really isn't good. To be honest, this wasn't very fun. It felt like a zero-sum game. I had to give up or hide my identity in order to gain a new one, like I couldn't have both. So eventually, I changed my strategy. I decided to make pineapple cakes for snack time. And surprisingly, some of the girls tried and said, oh geez, Jessica, that's so delicious. My pineapple cakes actually helped me to make some new friends. And you know, American elementary school math is relatively easy, and not the AMCA, by the way. So the lessons that the teacher taught at the summer camp were quite simple. In the first few days of our summer camp, I would pretend that I couldn't solve some of the math problems in order to discuss with my friends and to sort of find out the answer. But the other day, the teacher let us do all of the math problems that are posted in the hallway. When I'm finished, do only on a 12th question. So, but this time, I decided to tell the teacher that I finished and I would be happy to help the others. And to my amazement, from that moment, I fit right in. At the end, I made lots of great friends on that camp. To date, we still chat online. And even though we haven't seen each other for two years, we're still friends. And it's not because I helped them to solve the math problems or I've shared them a new type of snack, but because we genuinely warmed up to each other. Now, I used to think that identity and diversity are conflicting and that if we focus on how unique we are, it seems hard for us to try to learn to come together and to appreciate and respect each other's differences. But after my experience in America, I learned that these two things actually complement each other. They're actually blended perfectly together in our daily life. And here are two things I want to share. First, the best way to fit in is never about simply just trying to be like everybody else. It's being authentic and being yourself. When we try to fit into a group, we often pay too much attention on finding the commonality on the surface. We embrace as many different features as possible, like we learn different languages, eat different foods, and we try to be like others and pull our truths out into the back seat. But diversity is never about adding different pieces together. It's more about allowing yourself to embrace all of the possible changes of yourself and cultivating the diversity within you, not just around you. True diversity is not from the external, it's from the internal. Some people speak the same language, but never agree with each other. Some people speak the, speak the same thing in different languages, and they embrace each other, not by sayings, but by actions. Second, stop labeling. People have many labels in their minds according to what they have heard about other people, but not what they have seen. Such as Chinese people are good at math, not good at sports, and that's misleading. You'll get what I mean the following question. Here is a multiple choice question. In the following choices, who will you be most willing to cooperate with? Person A, believed in witches, has a history of smoking for many years, and was a heavy drinker who loved wine as one's life. Person B has been thrown out of the office twice, doesn't get up until noon every day, and has a history of smoking opium. Person C, a former comedy of his country. He kept a vegetarian diet, did not smoke, drink a little bit of beer occasionally, and never did anything illegal in his youth. Now, I'm gonna give you a few seconds to think about it. Who do you wanna cooperate with? All right, who wanna cooperate with person A? Please raise up your hands. What about person B? Any? And person C, please raise up your hands. Okay, I think the answer is quite obvious. The majority of you choose person C, right? And, well, you guys are in for a surprise. Who are they? Person A is Franklin D. Roosevelt, who served four terms as the President of the United States. Person B is Winston Churchill, the most famous Prime Minister in British history. 
And person C is Adolf Hitler. And we all know what he did. So you guys can see here. Guess what? Human beings are the most complicated but magical creatures on this planet. Most labels only represent partial of the truth, but not all. In most cases, they are misleading. Like the question I just showed you. You know when we use labels, we're really just trying to put people into neat little boxes or categories like Chinese or American, men or women, rich or poor. Labels are for feelings, labels are for clothing, but labels are not for people. Yes, we're not the same, but the thing that makes us so difficult, vs. different, isn't the skin color or the languages we speak. Individualism does not separate us, but bias and stereotypes do. When we use labels, we're putting the world into pieces, and we'll face the choice of one or the other. What separates us from others is not just from the outside, but on the inside, like her arrogance and fear. Every person here has the potential to explore the multiplicity within ourselves, and that's going to open lots of doors for us in our lives. Instead of feeling anxious and afraid when we can't fit into a box, we can feel free to take control of who we really are. And by the unique combination of our skill and culture, we'll be able to create a world where our identity is no longer used to isolate the others, but to bring together all of us. Thank you.